especially Jack in that first half, and make some shots uh, to really get this team moving um, in the right direction in front of what I felt like was one tremendous crowd. Um, and, and I'm very happy for Jack. Jack's a young man who works extremely, extremely hard, has had some tough moments lately in basketball games, had a lot of coaches yelling at him at times, but he doesn't, he doesn't ever fold up. He just continues to work, and today he was, he was rewarded with that, and it was great to see. Okay, so here's a question for the both of you. Um, it's a similar game that you guys played. We've seen it before. However, you guys actually made a lot of shots straight. So how was that feeling for you? Well, uh, I just felt like our guys were rested for this game. I really felt like, and I've, I've said this a couple times since we got back home, that um, I probably did our guys a disservice. When we got back from Florida, we practiced immediately when we got off the plane and had to play and play and play. And I, I may have taken some of their legs away. They they practice so hard all the time. And down the road, I'm going to understand that, hey, those plane flights, these amount of games in this number of days really, really zaps them. And they're, they're, they're going to need some extra rest. So I think the little extra rest that we were able to get in between this game and a little extra practice time really helped them. <coughs> and uh, I, I thought we did a tremendous job moving the basketball today, which gave more quality looks. And to our guys' credit, they stepped up and knocked them down. Yeah, I thought we um, executed exactly what we wanted to do really well with um, attacking their zone and freeing our wing guys up to knock down jump shots. And uh, I thought making a lot of shots early, too, got our confidence going, and then we didn't really hesitate. So those, those early shots we were knocking down really helped, I think, throughout the whole game of us just getting our confidence and keeping it rolling. Coach, did you have a, did you have a game plan going up uh, against the big guys? Uh, I mean, Hurt is a big guy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Chalk talk. Chalk talk before the game, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what we wanted to do was, it, they, they're going. there's entry points for that big guy. They were either going to try to enter it from the top of the key or the wing. If it was the top of the key, we had a certain rotation that was supposed to happen. If they had it on the wing, there was a certain rotation that was supposed to happen. Our guys were to front the big guy, and even though that was going to lead us in a little bit of disadvantage rebounding-wise, that ball is going to have to fall almost straight down to him. Um, because he's a guy who will rebound in a space and take up a big space, but he, he wasn't going to come out of his area that office often. Um, and we had to provide tremendous ball pressure. And so I felt for the majority of the night, we did a tremendous job of that. Could you could you see your, your team actually finished 13 to 28 from three? Could you could you see uh, early in the first half, like when they were making shots, that this team was they were ready to go? They were you know they were getting in front of uh, they were. I guess they were more amped on the defensive side and, 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 and trying to get that ball back to go down and make another three. And I think you're exactly <clears> right. You hit on it. it. It kind of feeds off each other, even though you don't want your defensive feed you know, be dictated by how well you're shooting the ball. But it kept energizing us every defensive possession. We're knocking shots. We're knocking shots. We're knocking shots. Let's just keep this going. Without getting careless and forgetting our fundamentals, yeah, I, I really do. But uh, again, we didn't come out of the gate great. Mm -hmm. We had a couple freshmen step up and make some shots, and all of a sudden they got the momentum change. We were careless at the beginning. I mean, I thought we looked pretty awful. We dribbled the first possession out of bounds. I think the third possession, we turned it over very carelessly. They trapped us, and we threw it back to them. I mean, that wasn't the way to start a basketball game. And all of a sudden, we settled in, relaxed, made some shots, and all of a sudden it started to build. In the second half, you were able. It seemed you were able to get the ball inside a little bit better than you than you were able to the other night. Is that just because the threes were falling all night, or is that something you made a conscious effort going into the game to, to work the ball inside a little bit? Both, both. We just knew, hey, you know, in the first half we hit what maybe ten, left whatever the threes were. We knew that's not going to happen both halves. So we had to make sure that we, hey, let's keep bounce, let's throw it inside, even if things don't go our way immediately, it's still going to help us and to attack the inside also. And I thought our guys did a very nice job of trying to keep that balance. Got a lot of freshmen getting a lot of playing time this year. Is that we got a lot of freshmen. I mean, that's the bottom line. With Jalen being out, we've got four upperclassmen and everybody else is a freshman. Um, so it, it's both. It, it's a double-edged sword. It's great that they're there and getting all this experience. But also, you'd like to have a couple other guys. But at this point in the season, he, he's not freshman anymore. He, he's real. They're not. They're, they, they've played enough minutes. Um, they've been through enough practices. They know what's going on.
if, I, if we were back in November, I'd be a little, little more concerned. But th they're going to be fine. You talk about the play of uh, Tyler White tonight. He was tremendous. And what he's showing is some things he's going to be able to provide. And he's showing us some things at the end of shot clocks in different situations. He's a guy that's very able. He's not just a shooter. He's, he's a guy that can create a, 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 a look. He can attack the basket. He's a scorer. But he's also a pretty dang good passer. So um, I, I think the kid's got a lot of growth still ahead of him. And the other thing is you'll look at the points, and everybody's going to say points, points, points. But equally, he played tremendous defense. He put a lot of pressure on those their point guards bringing the ball up the floor. Coach, it was your first win at home. There were a lot of fans out here tonight. So how are you going to build on that momentum? Well, we just gotta. We just have to continue to become a become better basketball team every time, and then go on a run and win some games. And because that's how you build momentum. They want to come and they want to watch winning basketball. And that's what I think our kids do. I think they're fun to watch. I think we play hard. We play as a team. And the bottom line is fans are going to come if you win and you provide those things. And I think this team does that. Jack, how do you feel about that? How are the fans tonight and the feeling of being at home and finally getting that win? Uh, I thought it was great. Um, we had let two previous games slip by, just barely slip by, just a few careless things here and there. But I think it's great for the fans, too, that we're here. And, um, like Coach said, to build off what he said, that they'll come back and just we have to keep winning. As long as we keep winning and keep bringing the fans in, and I just think it's great for our team, for the fans, and everybody.